So one of my favorite stories uh, in Atomic Habits is of British cyclists. Okay, now back in 1908 up until 2008, so over a hundred years, the British were known to be some of the worst uh, with the Tour de France. They had won one gold medal over the span of the century and have won the Tour de France zero times. Now something changed when they hired a new coach and started making these one percent changes. In a 10-year span, they won 66 gold medals and five out of the 10 Tour de France competitions. All the coach focused on was making micro improvements, improving the pillows they slept on, uh, improving the water slightly, painting the walls of their bus white so that they could see dust on the walls, just these little things over and over, and it compounded and made a huge impact on their results and their success. Another golden nugget from Atomic Habits. People often make the mistake of measuring their success by the results they see. Often they're looking for daily results or weekly or sometimes monthly. If they're trying to lose weight, they're looking at the scale. He, he teaches that anything that's done that is great requires time and uh, results are never linear. They compound. So he says, stop measuring your success by uh, your action and start measuring by your trajectory and be more obsessed with the trajectory, who you're becoming and why you're doing it rather than just the, the action. So bamboo is one of my favorite examples of this principle of patience and time and the overnight success. Bamboo builds a root system underground that takes five years of which the bamboo will sprout up less than a foot over five years. Now, over the course of five weeks, after it's built out that root system, bamboo can shoot up to 90 feet high. This shows this is the typical overnight success. What people see above the ground is very similar to how bamboo is grown. So James Clear in Atomic Habits talks about this principle that I think is fascinating. People tend to focus on what they're doing, like writing a book. Rather than writing a book though, he talks about if you focus on becoming an author, your chances of writing a successful book and achieving your goals are much higher. Rather than telling yourself, I work out at the gym, I'm trying to lose 20 pounds, tell yourself, I'm an athlete, I'm becoming an athlete. So the more you focus on who you're becoming in the process and not the, the action, the more likely you are to actually achieve what you're setting out to do. Another key takeaway from this book is that James talks about how Good habits are like discipline. They do not restrict you. People often assume that, hey, uh, going to the gym every day, reading a book every day, brushing my teeth, these things restrict me. They take time. But really, those disciplines, those good habits actually liberate you. And on the contrary, bad habits and a lack of discipline actually captivates you. It restricts your freedoms. So having this mentality that I get to do something, not I have to, I get to because it liberates me is a very powerful mindset that very successful people uh, embrace. You are a product of your environment, whether you like it or not. Uh, for example, he quotes a study saying that you are 57% more likely to become obese if you hang out with people, friends or family, or just are acquainted with somebody that is obese. So who you're around you become. So if you want to level up your life physically, hang around fit people, just spend time at the gym. You don't have to work out. If you just show up, your odds of becoming more fit are much higher. A lot of people say that habits take 21 days or even 33 days to actually become a habit. James completely debunks that. Okay. He says, it's not about that specific time. It's more about the frequency and the intensity. So one of my favorite aspects about habits that James talks about is the fact that tracking, just the mere act of tracking the progress, writing down. Some people think that this is controversial. It's a waste of time. Research shows that people who track their progress with losing weight, quitting smoking, or reducing their blood pressure are drastically more successful than those who don't. So track your progress, track your habits, whether you're trying to break an old or bad habit or create new good habits, your odds of success go up drastically if you just simply track them.